Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the dramatic difference the police make when they trash a city that employs them and pays them so well. Here's what the metros looked like all my life. Here's the metro during closing recently. Alright, so this is North Hollywood Station at closing. This is what it actually looks like. <laughs> it's a stark contrast to uh, when the police were trashing the place trying to get funding for, to patrol the metro. There's almost nobody here. About a dozen or so people just filed off the train and left. Um, they didn't stick around. There's nobody sleeping here and shit. Uh, nobody smoking, fake crack, nothing like that. And uh, yeah, this is what it usually looks like. And here's a bunch of cops pretending to be street people. All those meandering dudes. Huh? They're all just kind of meandering around, you know? Just meandering, like they ain't getting off. Is they getting off or is they ain't? The guy in the top left corner of the screen is an acting teacher at the AMDA in Hollywood. Part of their campus was across the street from this extra space location that we moved all our stuff into. The same location that the police tried to set us up at several times. When we initially posted this video earlier this year, the AMDA took his headshot off their site. When he sees my camera right now, he starts covering his face. I'm sure he's there to watch the cops trash the place and give them notes and advice or whatever, and, you know, teach them how to uh, be good actors. Man, you ain't even getting up. How the fuck up, man? Damn, dude. If his foot's all fucked up like mine is. What are the odds there of that, huh? Yo, it's this way. No, 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 no. Notice how nobody's exiting the station and they're all just walking in circles aimlessly. They're waiting for us to leave so that they can get on a train and go back to the 7th Street station and go back home to Long Beach. Tell me, his mom always wanted, to, wanted him to be able to tell his father. So he must have looked to me like, uh, fought like God. Tarzan, dog. Yeah, dude. And, and for, for him, like, that's why in the last movie, he has beat the f up bad. But then he beats the f up out of shit too, even dad because he was he wasn't going against his dad. Like his the one the one that raised him, you know what I'm saying? Was like was oh the one who raised him was like the, the my bad Bob, my bad, my bad. My bad. Yeah, I, oh, you head make sure don't forget it. Don't forget it. I, I watch I watch it because it's on the movie. I watch it because it's on the movie. But I'm also in the walk. Where is he? Where is they tell what if you're doing something wrong? Okay. And what's the reason behind it? You're doing something wrong. No, dude. There's no reason. Have you ever heard the term uh, draft compared? Like draft compared? Oh, yeah. Is it draft compared? Final stop, final stop, North Hollywood. I've ridden the metro all my life and I've never seen anything remotely close to this. None of these people are leaving the station. <laughs> They're literally going up the stairs and down the stairs and walking in circles, walking backwards. They're supposed to be clearing the station and no one's going anywhere. <laughs> They would relieve themselves in public all the time. We've literally seen them shit in the elevators of the station and I'm sure they thought it was hilarious. Come on, man. Up and down, up and down on the elevator. Okay. 
reason they're in the elevator going up and then down and not exiting the elevator is because they're all waiting for me to leave so that they can get on the train and go back to Long Beach 7th Street Station and go home. Uh, we've documented this many times and you can check out some other examples in the description and I'll put some up in the cards here too. Will you clear the elevator? They're up and down on the elevator. Thank you. And nobody else can use the elevator. At the time, because we knew they were all police officers and because we recognized the acting teacher from that AMDA, we thought that this was some sort of narc training class and that they were practicing going undercover to apply their skills in the real field. It wasn't until we saw the news that they were asking for tons of money that we realized they were staging crimes and trashing our city in order to defraud it out of hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Over 80% of the LAPD live outside LA County. That means that they're being paid and paid very well to literally piss and shit all over the city so they can steal more and more funding and then go home to see me value. May we have Marker? Yeah, yeah, marker? Service to North Hollywood. Hey, man, you don't have to wait for the walker. Yeah. May I have your attention, please? Service to Union Station has ended for the night. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Come on down the elevator, man. Come on on the elevator, man. Come on. You go ahead, sir. It's okay. I'll get the next one. What do you mean? Weirdo. I'm gonna fucking videotape people who does it for me. Respect. Get on the elevator, man. Alright, guys, let's go. Come on. Get off the elevator when you get upstairs. Extremely bizarre behavior to say the least. Now let's go take a look at what the metro looks like right now. And keep in mind it's actually been colder the last few days than it was when I was filming all the narcs on the metro trashing the place. The other thing too is like you can tell because they're not like meandering. They're yeah. all just like feelining off, you know? Not a single person is stopping to like couple on, you know? So that makes the scene a little more believable, I guess. Yeah. There's ice spice down there. I saw one person that looked kind of sketchy. Just because they look kind of like dirty. <laughs> you know? Ooh. Because that's what it looks like when it's normal and shit, you know? There's nobody on here to just be smoking crack. Well, why are there so many people coming up? Just because they're normal people commuting and shit. Oh, okay, now there's no one going down? Well, I mean, they're just gonna slowly trickle down onto yeah, the train and. Sandwich. The end one, maybe? The end one, no one wants it. Yeah. There's nobody like camping on the f thing. Do you want to be here? You want to be by the driver? Whatever. I mean, there's not even any police here. And you can see right there, the last uh, train. Just got to North Hollywood Station. So I guess there's one more going to Union Station, but. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's nothing like that. <laughs> no one here, there's nothing going on, you know? <laughs> what a f joke, right? 
All right, so the police have their funding for now, and it looks like they aren't ruining the city that we actually live in. It's just so frustrating and incredibly wrong what they were doing. Remember, the LAPD just got their biggest budget ever, $3.2 billion from Mayor Karen Bass. That means that 25% of our total budget goes to the police, but I'm sure Mayor Karen Bass will enjoy benefiting from a dramatic crime reduction since she took office this year. This was a train car you'd typically see earlier this year. Notice the narc smoking the fake crack has to put his pipe down and go and push the ball up so that the emergency door will close and as he's doing that another narc steps right out exits the door and then leaves the ball down just as the guy before him did it's outrageous <laughs> and then mr narcison over here with his uh, crack pipe uh, has to go and uh, you know push the ball up so he can go to the north hollywood station Miss. Every single car had cops doing this kind of a thing on them, blasting music, smoking cigarettes, or fake drugs. Our channel's grown from 2,000 subscribers to 20,000 in just one week alone, and we really appreciate it. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, thank you so much. At the same time we were noticing everything really weird going on at the metro, we would regularly visit the LAPD station in Hollywood because we were trying to get the name of the undercover Ventura County Sheriff's deputy who had beaten me while a DEA task force was trying to plant fabricated evidence on me. It turns out the police only pretended to arrest him because I was filming everything so we never got his information but every time we'd go to the station we'd notice all these fake homeless people lying in the doorway. It's pretty unusual for a homeless person to feel safe being around cops in the first place and it's even more unusual for the police to welcome them to sleep sleep right in the middle of the doorway to the station and every time we'd go there they'd be there day night this probably happened about six different times what they're doing is f***ing with me and they're shoving it right in our face they knew exactly who we were they knew when we were going to be coming to the station because they stalk us everywhere we go all of the time